يلا يلا على السريع خليك بالسيارة أنا بطلع لا ولا يمكن يعني خلاص هو السبب إنك بعتني برا وهو السبب اللي جابوني على التحقيق مستحيل أعزم عارة صفتي The best uh, definition of wajib is, is social duty. In the case of wajib, for example, it has diff many different meanings. Many people have their wajib in the film, but the main one is that Shadi has to come back to Nazareth. That is his wajib, is to help his father, because he's the only son in the family, to deliver the wedding invitations for his sister's <laughs> wedding. The father feels his son somehow doesn't respect him. His mother left him. The son kind of took the mother's side. He understands, he admires the mother for doing this. She was adventurous. She took a risk. She did things. The father is not risky. He's not adventurous. And I think the father feels that deep down inside. <laughs> ما انت لو شوي ورطنا مع اصحابك عملتوا لي تنظيم تنظيم نادي سينمائي نادي سينمائي كل افلام كانت سياسيه وتحريض the politics it's it's always there you know shadi had to leave he didn't want to leave you know, i imagine shadi as a teenager and he has you know he, he believed in all these you know things that the world could change he could make the world a better place he had this cinema club with his friends and then they were interrogated by the israeli secret police and his father was afraid for him, so he had to leave. And now he's, you know, he's come back and he's very critical of his society. Palestinians are not allowed to mention their own history in their own schools. He tells his father, you, you know, you speak their language better than them, but you're invisible. They don't see you. You know, it's, it's, it's about the identity. I mean, this is why, you know, Shadi carries this anger with him. Um, because the, the, the Palestinians have a boot on their neck. And he sees that and he wants to confront that. Where his father's way of coping you know, the mechanism with that is to, everything is fine, you know, he just wants to take care of his family, raise his family. He has a different way of dealing with it. The main story is, is about that. Two people who don't have family anymore, trying to, trying to be a family, trying to, to find family again. Abu Shadi traditionally, in a traditional society, he is the patriarch of the family. And this is, a, this is a broken man. You know, this is a man who at once, he's a school teacher, he, is a, he has his position in, in Nazareth, in society, as a respected, you know, school teacher is a very respected position. His students love him, everywhere he goes, he has his students everywhere. Um, at the same time, his wife left him. He feels humiliated and he feels broken. And I think for me, Abu Shadi never really recovered from that. And so he tells these white lies. He tries to, I mean, he's, he's trying to also create a, a, a strength in him, a false strength to create sort of an image. That's his weakness. And at the same time, he is very strong. The way I work is that I spend a lot of time on the script, on the dialogue. Uh, when I write dialogue, I'm, I usually perform it and write and perform and alone in you know, my own world. And then I, I start to work with the actors. 
and uh, very open with the dialogue uh, to you, you, it comes to life and you have to listen to it and what sounds real and what doesn't sound real and I, th I throw things out or I add things and I worked a lot with Mohammed and Saleh on this um, in, in, a, in a couple of scenes we worked a lot and we, we rehearse and we improvise and we discuss everything and I change the script and I come back to the next rehearsal with them with a different script, and we, we, you know, we kind of workshop this, the, the scene many times. Like I'll say, like in the film, like the, the, the two big fights they have, we, wor we worked a lot on those, and then, uh, and then I lock it. The film was for me Shadi and Abu Shadi and Nazareth. Nazareth was a third character in the film. And when we started to film, I actually had imagined we would have to see Nazareth a lot more. And then as we went on, it became more clear to me that no, the, the story was, is, is to be focused on the father and son and Nazareth is there. It's like the mother in the film that we never see, but she's always there. And I didn't feel that we needed, it was more interesting to stay close to them. <laughs> Nazareth is the biggest Palestinian town inside Israel. Um, and the tensions that come along with that, the economic, social tensions. Uh, it's a tense city. It's a violent city. It's a, it's a city that, is, does, that can't breathe, you know? And at the same time, there's a lot of humor. People are dealing with their lives. People are continuing. They are survivors. It's a city of survivors. Um, and I, so it's a portrait of, of father and son, and it's a portrait, I think, of, of Nazareth. <laughs> كانت إسرائيلي كمان